Well, hello friends, neighbors, John, your whiskey neighbor here and welcome to a lot of whiskey. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. This is the third annual uh, collaboration across uh, uh, Scotch clubs, lots of YouTubers from around the world uh, to put forward the Scotch and whiskey that we enjoy. No one gives us these, no one tells us what to do or submits an entrance. It all comes from grassroots and now it's online for you to vote. That's the point. The winner will be decided by you. I'll put links various times through this video, but take a moment, go there and put in your thoughts because that's the point of the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. It's all of us around the world judging what we think is the best. This could be a long one. Why don't you pour a couple of drams or a dram of something you really enjoy. I'm just gonna walk through every category and I've got a few picks or pours if I have any of the liquid in the category. So pour something, come on back. Three, four. Well, as I said in the opener, this could be a long one, I don't know, but I'm gonna walk through the Online Scotch Whiskey Award. So I've set up a laptop right here. If I'm looking this way, it's because I'm on the screen and I'm literally just gonna scroll through the website and share thoughts if I have them. And of course it's about whiskey, so I'm sure I'll have them. Uh, and I'm sure we'll agree on a few, disagree on a, on a few others. And that's actually a lot of fun. And I think that's part of this great community. So. Let's jump right in. The first category is best value whiskey. And I will say of all the whiskey here, I've probably had more best values than anything else. We've got uh, Adnermerken, we've got Aaron 10, we've got Brooklady Classic, we've got Kilcarran 12, Lechegg 10, and Port Charlotte 10. And I will say right now, I will happily drink any one of those bottles uh, I was gonna say for the rest of my life, but what I mean by that is this is a great category and all of those, in my opinion, are great whiskeys. Uh, I think if I'm looking for more smoke, uh, I'm probably gonna go with Port Charlotte. I really, really enjoy uh, Port Charlotte. Um, if I'm going with a little more sherry characteristic, then I'm, I'm gonna end up with uh, Kilcarran 12, which I have some. I really like Kilcarran 12. It's a little priced higher, a little here, and I know there's been arguments, what is value? Well, value isn't necessarily the cheapest, that's true. But I think it has to have a great ratio of flavor to value. Uh, let's check 10, uh, always on the shelf, not in this moment. The classic Laddie has some great, like almost grain malt notes that I love. The Admiral, I think I've only had a sample of, I don't, I've never had a bottle of that, so I can't really comment. And I ended with Aaron 10, and Aaron 10 is what's in my glass. I know it won last year, but deservedly so. Aaron 10, you know, has, has such a broad, uh, for me, there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of oak, some nice sweetness, some malt on the palate. Oh, it's got depth and yet I find their, their malt still sweet, but a sweet, nice, you know, fruit oak interplay that just has great balance and plays into an almost char finish for me. Uh, I think Aaron 10 is just fantastic. It's just excellent scotch. Moving out of best value, we'll go into best blend. Now this category I thought was pretty unusual. Uh, we've got, you know, Chivas Regal 18, Cuddy Sark Prohibition, Dewar's Double Double, Johnny Walker Black, McLean's Nose, and Thompson Brothers. Again, we can't get Thompson Brothers in Canada. Somebody fix that. All I hear is that they're amazing. I've had most of these. I haven't had Thompson or McLean's. I've had the others. And uh, if this is our pick, then I am wildly behind, uh, you know, this Dewar's Double Double. Right, I forgot a bottle shot in the air in 10. Um, you know, I, I, it's priced here. It's like 120 pounds. For me, I can get this very bottle for about 40 Canadian. So if that's supposed to be a full bottle, that's 80 Canadian. I, at that price, it'll fall off the shelf. At the price I get it at, you know, this Dewar's 
uh, 21 year and the value that I get off it for me, it it's just an excellent one. And it's the one that I've splashed into this glass. And what a contrast. Yeah, there's some grain in here, I think. Oh, is it? It's not single malt, it's double, double. Yeah, yeah, it's blended scotch. Um, and it's got, for me, a, a right away some more, uh, you know, sherry notes, more more fruit, leathered sweetness on the palate, Sancha. Hmm. But it is so, it's so well blended. It's balanced. Um, a little leather, a little um, dried fruit, a little dark fruits in there. Nice coating, chewy. What is it for percentage wise? 46, yeah, 46. Uh, it's great. Uh, I, that price would make it tough, but in that group of six, it's my choice by a mile. Uh, blended malt whiskey. Now I haven't had as many of these as I, I, I would like. I've had Douglas Lang's Big Pete, I haven't had Campbelltown Lock. I have had had Compass Box No Name, Compass Box Orchard Box, uh, Douglas Lang's The Gladrians. I have not had, and of course, again, another Thompson Brothers I have not had. Uh, in this one, I'm drawn to uh, either of the Compass Boxes, mostly because I've had them. I, I like uh, Big Pete, it's a fun expression, but you know, No Name versus Orchard, tough call. It's just me and it's gotta be me because who here I am probably going to pick Orchard House. It just, I didn't, I liked it at first, but didn't love it. But by the time I was through that bottle, I I truly uh, could could go to it when I was looking for exactly what it says. Some really full flavored fruits in a nice malt. That's a, that's a keeper. That's my pick. Best non-malt whiskey. Okay, well, I've had a lot of non-malt whiskey. Um, and here we've got Blue Spot 7-year-old, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, Lock them on single grain, wild turkey 101 and wild turkey rare breed. Now, without a doubt, without even a hint of a doubt, um, I've had more wild turkey rare breed than anything on here. Uh, and I've had everything else except I haven't had the lock them on single grain. Everything else I've had, this is kind of nice that I've had a whole category. Uh, and even though I've said I've had more rare breed than anything and will continue to have more rare breed than anything on that list, I've actually poured myself a little splash of this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And let's see where I go with it. So let's try it on the nose. Uh, you know, we're coming off blended scotch, single malt scotch. It's just so wildly different. So many cinnamons and burnt brown sugars and, and just oak. Let's try it on the on the palate. Cheers. Mm. Oh, I really like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And I'm even enjoying this, and this is most people's not favorite. This is the controversial under 12 year release. Uh, and uh, what I see online, if I can get a B9, no, no, C923, the 13 year old, like to a person, everyone has gone nuts over it. It's not available here, but if I can get a hand on that, I am sure that's gonna be right up there in bourbon of the year country the way people talk. This is still really good. Really, really, really good. And in this mix, it's tough not to pick Rare Breed, but I'm liking the flavors of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So it's gotta be my pick this year. Let me go into Best Distillery. I don't know how you pick Best Distillery. These are all, these are all great. Admir Ad, uh, Ad, uh, Admirkin, uh, Ben Romick, uh, Brooklady, Glen Scotia, Loch Lomond, Springbank. Come on, every every one of these puts out phenomenal, phenomenal scotch. How do you pick the best one? Um, you know, I think if it was more available, I'd probably pick Springbank because I'd probably drink more Springbank than any anything else up here. Um, I like Brooklady and Octomore and I just, oh, uh, it's so good. But I'm leaning a little bit to Ben Romick and the reason is lately in my market, I've had several Ben Romick releases and they've always been hitters. They're on the shelf, they're better value. I can get them as opposed to Springbank. Um, so for me, I'm actually gonna give the nod to Ben Romick. Uh, but what a tough category, everyone great. Best new distillery. So this is uh, Admerkin, uh, Bimber, Isle of Rasse, Kings Barnes, Lag Distilleries. Oh, Lag. Um, on the Isle of Aaron. These guys, sister now, and Lindor's Distillery. 
I've actually had from every one of these, uh, but I have not had a lot from any one of these. Um, I've probably had more Kings Barns than any of the list up here. But of what I've had, uh, I've only had samples from Adam Erkin, um, had samples from Lindor, uh, Leg, I've had samples and I love Aaron. This is a tough one and I really don't feel like I'm the right voice to listen to here. Um, yeah, I I liked what I had from Isle of Rasse, like I really did. Uh, probably Adnan Merkin, just based on how people chat about it. Did I like the sample I had? For sure. But I didn't, haven't had a bottle. I've had bottles of King's Barns. I know I should pick that, but it's good, but not as good as even the samples that I've had. That's a bad one for me. Listen to other voices out there. Best independent baller. You know, I have always loved independent ballers. We've got Cadence Head, Gordon McPhail, uh, North Star, Signatory, Scotch Malt, Whiskey Spidey, and again, Thompson Brothers. Okay, um, I will cover from that. I've had uh, all of these. I don't belong to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, but those that do often share with me. Um, I've probably had more Gordon McPhail than anything else up here. Um, but I actually, I don't know, I don't even know why, but I've had more, I probably had more misses, but also more bangers from uh, North Star. And so my pick is actually North Star. And then it goes to Best World Whiskey. And again, the, the, the choices here, very unique. Blue Spots made it back in again, the seven-year-old. Indri, that's up here. Uh, Cavalan Soloist, oh yeah, I guess I should do bottle shots, right? So Indri, you know, I would say about Indri is it, <laughs> their marketing is huge in that they targeted just about all of us YouTubers and sent us a bottle. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of that experience. Lots of other YouTubers out there promote themselves better than I do and get bottles. I was thankful to get this bottle. Uh, did I enjoy it? Absolutely. Would I buy it? Absolutely. It's good value, great flavors. Um, then there's Cavalan Soloist. Now I've got a Cavalan Soloist, but not the one that they've shot. This one's all ex-bourbon and it's just phenomenal. James gave that to me. You're the best, James. Um, the, here they've got the Vino uh, Barrique and I haven't had the Vino Barrique. So I can't really comment on that. Um, you know, we've got a Nika Yoshi Nas, sample only, don't have a bottle. Powers John Lane. I continue to hear a lot about that. Given that price, I think I would buy that all the time as a great Irish whiskey. It's not available in my market. Someone fixed that as well. And then, of course, Rare Breed. This is so tough. Now, since I didn't pick Rare Breed uh, and I picked uh, the Elijah Craig, then... I better pick Wild Turkey. Now, I would say like this soloist is, like I said, it's the wrong one, is phenomenal whiskey. Like it's definitely my favorite. If I'm just saying Cavalan soloist versus these, really like that whiskey. So, so good. Uh, Indri was fun, uh, but I guess of what I've truly had up here because I haven't had the soloist Vinho Barrique, I better pick the Wild Turkey. Always a classic, just great, nice rye spice. Uh, just what a great bourbon. Uh, and then are we already down to best scotch? I think we already are. Now this is a tougher. We've got Ben Roma cast strength. We've got Bunahaben 12 year cast strength. Glen Scotia Victoriana. Uh, that's been up here a few times. Lecheg 18, Port Charlotte 10 year and Springbank 10 year. Now, uh, just to keep me in the conversation, I've poured myself a little Springbank tenure because I have it. It is a little older bottling, but it's still Springbank and it's still their tenure. Uh, and boy, Springbank 10. You know, on the nose of all these up here, we've got a little more malt and a little more um, a thicker, like people will say funk, but I mean just a slight edge of smoke or oil or something that takes it into a bit of a dirty whiskey. Slancha. Mm. You know, Springbank knows how to make just a fantastic malt. It just has, you know, a, just the right amount for me. A, a good vanillas, um, good slight peat, which just gets it hearty. It gets it kind of thicker and chewy and in presence, breathes out a little bit um, thicker. Man, I like Springbank 10. Having said that, 
I don't have it and I haven't had it because it's not in my market, but I love Buna 12. Like, I, I'm surprised at least that a Buna 12 isn't on the shelf. It's almost always on the shelf. It's a favorite scotch of mine. And that cast strength, I think, would really draw me in. So having picked scotches that I've had, I have to give it to the 10 because I have it, Springbank 10, and I absolutely love it. Ooh, poor Charlotte. Yeah, I don't have it with me right now. Um, but I have not had the Bunnahaven 12. I suspect, I mean the 12, I've had many, many, but the 12 cask, I suspect I might like that 12 cast strength more than Springbank 10. Ooh, tough, tough call. Is the Springbank tank worthy of being best scotch? Absolutely, it's fantastic. If it's, a, if it's in your market, it's probably still affordable. It's really, really good scotch. Would I pick any of these others? Yeah, boy, I've had samples or bottles. They're all excellent, except I haven't had the Buna 12. And I'd really like to. Anyways, I guess I have to give it to Springbank 10 because it's right here in the glass. You know, uh, the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards began uh, really, I think, to give voice to all of you. It's fun for me to, to walk through here and I'm listed as a contributor, which means I, I basically get to see all the lists slightly ahead of you and uh, and do a bit of like, yeah, let's talk about this and, and let's see if there's any bottles we're missing. But that's it. I like I don't have any more vote or 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 influence. Well, except for I get to talk about my favorites with you. Uh, then all of you, your vote is every bit the same vote that I'm gonna give, and I haven't dropped my votes yet. Um, but I just encourage you to do it because the concept is great, and 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 Roy and Ralphie, you know, you guys are just phenomenal uh, supporters of all of our channels, and and you know the whiskey scene to be authentic, to be connected with the people who are enjoying whiskey and not just big, bold marketing. And for that, I would tip my hat if I had a hat on and I thank you for letting me be a part of this. That's my walkthrough of the 2023 Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. If I haven't yet, I'm sure I'll throw a link here. Go and vote, have your say. I, I, I can't remember, you might even be able to throw in another bottle, which if you get in early, a little late than early you know it could pick up some steam but this has been a ton of fun thank you for letting me be part of this Roy and Ralphie you guys are the best and thank you guys for tuning in every now and then to hear me walk through just some whiskey that I'm having some taste that I have and, and just sharing a dram put your comments below and go vote thanks take care